Well, there it goes. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Hello. Welcome back to Sable. Let's continue. All right, last we left off, we were just exploring this little area. I'm gonna look for other things. We're trying to make our way to the top of these, but that seems almost impossible. Um, so. On our to-do list. Da, 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 da. Ah, we could go back to the whale just to see what's going on. We have the queendom, twenty chum eggs, which we have eighteen. Nazis nibbles, remnants of change, riding the wave. Uh, burnt oak, marabone, seven sister. Sometimes a well is well. <clears throat> Said Micah's gone missing. You know what? The only thing we have on our list right now is the whale, so I think you just go there. Oh. Hmm. Green terror or something. Where's Simon? Simon. Simon, come here. You just sitting there? Come here. I see you. Hey, silly. Over here. Alrighty, we want to go to the whale. Whale, the heck over here. Oh, no, that's not the whale, that's this area. Where is the whale? Ah, the big red one. I don't want to travel. I want to actually just make our way there. We're going to do our best not to fast travel, I think. Because I know some people like the travel time. Hmm. I made, a, I made a left turn at Albuquerque. Try to keep Simon as stable as possible. It's kind of wonky. Get there. We have to figure out what these things are. We'll go to the moon. Or moon? Look, the moon. We'll go to the whale. That's the sun. Is it not the sun? It's a lot more colorful for it being nighttime. Usually really gray when it's nighttime. The stars are out, so it must be nighttime, right?
see any wigglers. What was that noise? Didn't see anything, so I don't know. More pomegranates. Stop against a pomegranate. Um, pomegranate. Pomegranate. about these floating things up. Kind of remind me of guard towers, but I don't think they would fit that. Okay, I'm coming over here because these rings... Interesting. I wonder... They light up when you fly through them. Wonder if we get anything if we go through all of them, light them all up. Figured out what those are. Up 
and then down into here. What are you? An ancient race. You quest them. I activated an old, mo an old monument by driving through some strange rings. Inside the monument, I found a ring-shaped artifact. Wonder what it's for. Well, no sand left. On incredible tech. Yeah, <laughs> sand gets everywhere. It does it's coarse. It's everywhere. All right. Uh, so, uh, straight south. Oh yeah, it's right there. You know the gigantic thing in our view. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to Saren, right? And more of Saren's terminals. I mean, we already have, right? They told us to go back. Alright, Sam Moon. Stay there. Come on. There you go. Oh. Almost fell off. But it wasn't. It was that one down there, right? This one's the botanical gardens. I'm right, I'm right. I can run. For forgot I could run. Two? Oh, we've done three. Say hello to Saren. Thank you for your help recovering my data modules. I've updated your security clearance stable. Granting first level access. Ah. <sighs> Saren profusely. I hope they understand. Say farewell to there. Ooh. Yeah. Get space outfit. Whale ship mask. The visor of this mask gives clarity and visibility. I'm not used to with other masks. The air tastes cleaner while I wear it. Hmm. Whale ship trousers. So lightweight and form-fitting that it doesn't feel much more than an extra layer of skin. Whatever it's made of is unclear to me. Whale ship top. Made from an unrecognizable material, wearing it seems to keep me at consistently comfortable temperature. Nice. What does it look like? Uh, it's a bit... I, I prefer that one. We'll go in that one. The ship top and wheel ship trousers. Hmm. Well, it looks interesting. I prefer the cape. 
I think they're just aesthetic. I don't know if it does anything. We're gonna talk again. Say hello to Saren. No unread, no unread messages. Bye. Well, uh, we got two, right? Where did we go? We went. Battlefront Connection and Relic's Pillar. Didn't we get the Dunboyne? That should be three. Um, and Kimball's Cube. We did that one too. Oh, that wasn't Aaron though. Hello? Ooh. Controller died. Go, controller! This is a professional stream right here. <clears throat> Re reconnect controller. Come on. There you go. Okay. Uh, yes, we did Trellix Pillar, Dunboyne, Offering Connection. There wasn't one at Kimball's Cube. Hmm. Well, we could go south and explore that area, or go back and try to do one of these. We need to find more of Saren's terminals. Or do more rings. There's, I know where some rings are. Uh, there's a bunch of these. Four more that we need to go look for, right? Unless, um, hmm. unless it didn't count one of them. Should we? Um, what? I am actually going to fast travel to this one. Make sure that it got it. Just to be sure. Didn't get into that door. to open this door. Then go talk to Saren over here. No unearned messages. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got that one. Dunboyne was one as well. <laughs> oh, right. It's not Breath of the Wild. You can't jump up to the next one. Ugh. Okay. And there are some rings over there. Are those the rings we just did? No, no, no. We're over in the Red Sea. This is the sand sea. Um, 
Well, there's that. So maybe it didn't save our progress here. Yeah, I, I remember getting that, so I don't think it saved our progress doing this one. Although, that one's there. What? Door is open. This bridge is crossed. Yeah. I feel like we've seen three Saren. No one read messages. Yeah. Hello, controller? Why? I need to take these batteries down and charge them. Come on. Connect, please. Oh, you silly thing. There you go. Thank you. So, we know we got that one, we know we got that one, and Alfron connection. Uh, but while we're here... You need fresh batteries. Uh, maybe. I have this one last battery here in the controllers. I do need to take them down and get them charged back up. Okay. And Simon, let's go. Because while we're here, there, we have rings to go through. Where's the start of them? Right here? Yeah. Do we have to be speedy to get through these? Sounds for a second here. There we go. Okay. Let's see what's in this one. Probably the same thing. I'll just, you know, take this ancient artifact that apparently nobody else has ever flown through all those at the same time before. Unless when you're done with your gliding, you, like, go put those back. Which... Who knows? Okay, uh, we were gonna go check out the Dunboing. No, not, uh, Balfron connection. Just a triple check. Was Balfron... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a Saren in the Balfron. Oh, uh, right. Go 
Go down, please. to save it last time I was here empty in remembering that we have to... No, we just go down there, isn't it? To get up there? The answer that question is nope. Or maybe. Too heavy to throw, too heavy, yeah, gotta go over here. probably just climb now but uh wait uh no the walls of this area are too slick right can't climb these well let me climb them yeah, this is a siren tell me I, I i have already talked to you no one met yeah Huh. We indeed already did. Three of them. The 
staring at the whale, the thing on the side says we done two. So, what now? Go back here. We'll do more Sodic Waste stuff. Just to be sure. I'm not missing anything over there. Right. We have that one to fly through. We have whatever this thing is. Um, and there's more stuff over there, pointing with my tip of my horn there. Um, God, we have stuff. There's just stuff everywhere here. Um, it's hard to know where to begin. Fly through the rings. See, yeah, we know what it gives us. Go get it. There's one, two, three, four. Okay. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon in your compass. It will, yeah. We already knew that. Why are you coming up now? Well, you know, we can probably climb to the top of that thing, though. I don't think anything is up there, unless it's a chum. Yeah, I'll just, uh, take this artifact. Thanks, guys. Alright, bye. You definitely haven't been keeping me safe for thousands of years, and I'm just a little girl trying to Explore the world. Wait for the stamina. There it goes. Wait, I have another bar. Yeah. The top. It is a chum. Hi, hey, chum. Come with me, my friend. Uh. 
Um, so, you know, this area, yeah, we looked at the um, place over here. You know, we have to distract a weird looking bird up there to get the flower something that it's sitting on, right? One of the eggs. Now there's a campfire over here. Usually means someone's in that area, but last time we were here there wasn't anybody. Or did we not come to this place? We were here. Yeah. Yeah, but there's no one here. Who would leave the fire going? It's not good. A little tiny whatever those are. What do you think these are? Bunch of colored green ones around there, blue ones around there, blue around the blue, green around the green, and then over by the camp they're collecting them. What's this? Is this a cult? Is this a cult? Very strange. I've been trying to think uh, in the downtime of uh, how to distract that bird thing because we can't hold anything in our hands. Right? We can't. interact with any of this. Yeah, just clothing. General, we can't, like, we can't eat a pomegranate, we can't hold anything, we can't put stuff down. I'm really confused. Um, I climbed up the geyser tower and met Dylan. He asked me to fetch him some eggs from the nest at the top of the tower. I need to scare the pink neck away from its nest to steal some of its eggs. Dylan said, the bird is afraid of shiny masks. He didn't say mask, he said shiny things. It would help if I read stuff, I guess. Do I have a shiny mask? I have a fat mask, child. Ask. Hmm. No, you saw the mask. Air's cleaner. Made of bone. This one might be shiny. I don't think it's shiny. What's uh? What's our next area?
We have an area to the south. We have both areas to the south. Um, we haven't really explored everything here. Don't see any more. I mean, there were a bunch of chum here, but they're around the cartographer building. What is what? What are these red spots? There's only a few of them. We already looked at you. There's one there too. Are those the ones? Oh, those are like the pagoda things. They have to be. Because we tried climbing up there to all those and we couldn't. Yeah. It's that pagoda thing right there. No idea what that sound is still. It's freaky. Hold on. What? There's a gigantic red line in the sand. What is this? Is this for, like, racing or something? What does it go to? Is there a different color one at the end of, other end of that? I don't remember seeing one. Is it a glitch? It's a glitch. Yeah, sorry, Simon. Oh, Simon. Okay, yeah, it's these platforms. I cannot interact with, but they do point in a direction. You clumsy bike. Pointed us over here. There points this direction as well, right? I don't know, I can't see it. Do I get a bonus ledge on this one? Pointing in this direction. It's that one over there. Coming, Simon. Can you path, Simon? Oh, you're, you're right next to me. Okay. You can stay there. It's 
that's a bigger one. We're gonna wait for our stamina. This one is broken. Um, but it was pointing in that direction. Where did that one? Come on, Simon. Stay with me. Figuring out the mystery of the statue. get up. Where's Simon? <laughs> I'm losing all of my friends and family. This way? Looks like the easiest way to get up. A lot of birds. This one's completely broken, but it looks as if it was pointing in that direction. Okay. There's something over there. Can't quite tell what, though. I think we have to float over there because that is definitely too much for us to climb. We follow the statues, and now they're pointing their bows into this area. Who are you? Oh. Hello. The stranger by the fireside introduce him, introduces themselves as Lior, the famous fabulist. If I had any doubts that I would recognize the fabled Lior, they vanished at the sight of her mask. A face turns. Oh, oh, that's strange. Lore. Okay, it's lore. You're looking for me, aren't you? The atomic priesthood is looking for you. I'd like to meet you, I'm a fan. Or just a fellow traveler. Which one? Um I might as well start. 
I tell Laura that I'm here on behalf of the Atomic Priesthood. I see then, Glider, you've come here to carry me away, to end my walk, to make me talk about how I've gone astray. I'm not sure what to say next, this, and certainly not in rhyme, so I give a sort of playful shrug. Laura shakes her head and looks to the skies, her mask shifting away. I know why the priesthood wants me. Truth be told, I miss them as well. I wait for the next verse, but apparently this is just talking. What do you do for them? I'm a wandering fabulist, the poet's life my choice. Priest, the priests ask me to spread safety and give their knowledge voice. She sighs. Good rhymes. Nice. I tell Laura I like her rhymes. She thanks me with a little bow. The priests give me a good life. I spread their word. They treat me like a queen, but there's still something wrong. I'm at an impasse. I ask what kind, and she doesn't answer. What is your name? I tell her. Sable. Sable, as a glider, you might have a particular insight into what I'm seeking. For what I desire is to choose a path, and you are very much on the same journey. Do you think you could help me? I tell her yes, but it's absolutely a secret, maybe, ordering on a doubtful. The Atomic Priesthood, however strange and severe, have given me a very comfortable life. I speak their truth, I spread their word, and... Well, frankly, I stop them being so bloody boring all the time. She crosses her arms. For that, they treat me wonderfully. I get anything I want, so long as I use my gifts to convey their message. Uh... Sounds stifling. It does! It does. It does. But it also means that I get to live a charmed life, and certainly more charmed than most who make their living telling stories and singing songs. It's wonderful, really. So now I wonder, should I return to Esria? I mean, they're looking for you, right? So... Laura dismisses me again. No, 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 it isn't that easy, Sable. Don't you see? I've spent these weeks wandering the vastness of the desert, traveling through towns and encampments, through ruins and wonders, asking myself questions. And I've narrowed it down to the three most significant questions, for which I have no answers. Perhaps you can help me. I tell her yes. Sure, of course, please. Thank you. You have a glider's wisdom. Laura draws me closer, and I look deep into the eyes of her mask. Sable, glider, what is the value of art? Is it spreading truth, or is it spreading joy? It's quite a start. I tell her that the value of art is... joy. I tell her it's joy, and she nods vigorously. If all we get is just one life to live a little while, then it would seem a noble dream to give the world a smile. Fascinating, Sable. Really helpful. Was it? Next question. When you are faced with a challenge, how do you approach it? Do you value caution or safety? Well, I usually just climb it first. Well, what I am definitely not going to say is that I thought they were much the same thing. Instead, caution. I tell her I think that caution is more important than safety. Caution! Interesting. You didn't even have to think. Perfect. Laura, cle Laura clears her throat. When I first left my home and was bound for the sand, I knew not what I'd find as I walked this great land. But I knew that in going, I'd risk soul and skin. So I wore caution out and lit a fire within. New rhyme scheme there. I like it. Lore nods. 
Versatility. You've been so helpful, Sable. Thank you. The last question is probably an easy one for you, still, when you're gliding. Why do we explore? What drives us? Are we seeking our purpose? Or are we indulging in free our freedom? To be fair to lore, this one gives me pause. It's danced around my thoughts now and again, but not in so many words. I wonder, is my purpose as a glider to see all places? Or is it to find my place? I think on it, not for an answer. The purpose of such exploration is... Oh, that's a life question, isn't it? Why are we out here? I mean, freedom's good. Not everyone needs a purpose. We go with purpose. We're exploring to find our purpose. I tell Lore that the point is to find our purpose. Fascinating. We are such strange creatures. She breathes in. In all of us, there is a flower, the answer to our need. But we can't wait, so we contemplate the mystery of the seed. Lore pauses after this last. I hear the wind blow past, and then suddenly she claps. Well, that settles it. I think I've made up my mind, but I'll need another night or so to think on it. I ask Laura if she's going back to Estria or not, and she laughs. I find myself liking her quite a lot. I'll find out tomorrow. Thank you, Sable, for listening. You've been a very generous collaborator today. Collaborator today. I feel quite refreshed. Take this badge, a token of your contribution. She sits up straight. A glider named Sable, the fabulous lore, shared something today in the sands. I put faith in her judgment, I'll trust in her brain, and my fate in her capable hands. Lore bows, and I must admit I feel quite nice having heard that. Thank you, Sable. I know we'll meet again. I wish Lore the best and then tell her goodbye. I don't know if I helped, but I gave it a try. Oh no, she's got me doing it. That was cute. Uh, well, uh, she's gone. Okay, uh, let's explore this area. Nothing over here. What about the other side? No. Well, we did a thing. Um, does it show up on the map at all? No. Maybe? No. Can we make any sense out of this big shipwreck thing? We have to go get Simon again. Silly glider. Okay. Well, that uh, solves our other what we were doing yesterday or the last session, climbing these rocks and hoping for something and then not getting it. But hey, we got something out of it. Simon, you were over here. Where are you? I heard you. Where are you? There you are. Come here. Come here. Are you stuck? 
Are you deaf? Gotta be more chum in this area. I'm sure there are. There's one over here at least. We only need one more before we go back to the chum cave. Chum lair. So uh, make our way somewhere, hmm? Or should we go down here and try to explore this lower area? Let me make our way around. I think I like exploring new things. Uh, we did get this one, searching for a lore. Should speak to Shar Varana now that lore has returned. That's back at uh, Astria. We could do. I'm thinking we go explore the rest of the map. Get a bit of travel out of it. And see what the next area is. If there's anything else we can do over there. I'm really curious to find out what all this stuff about Saren is. Might do that just to do it. Um, we couldn't climb any of this stuff, could we? No. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think so, but it's a really big ship. Or multiple ships that crashed down. Uh, we do know that they were landing at some point for here. Hmm. Geysers, camps. Uh... Ooh, Sai Moon. Do a barrel roll. Can I have you, please? Thank you. Oh, they're just flowers. Another one over there. Need to figure out what those flowery things are as well. I'm sure it'll come with time, but very curious. I don't exactly have a shiny mask either. I don't- I have my bike. You don't have to tell me to not lose it. I have it. Right here. I'm on it. We're gliding. We're moving. Thank you, though, game. The game loads a new area or something. It's strange. It's a weird sound. Why does the camera get so close when we're over here? <laughs> Through... 
cactus forest. Sorry, Simon. There's probably a chum hiding somewhere in here. straight through that cactus. What was that? It sounded like one of those buildings. Did it lower? Did that last one lower? Was that what happened? the wind tower. Oh, jeez. Tree kind of reminds me of New Zealand. Ah! Look, there's more of them. Is that a spine? Let's see what's over here. Ow, okay. Uh... Oh. Oh, it just got really foggy. Right again. And now it's spooky. <laughs> Make our way into the forest, I guess. Well, I'm wearing a red hood. I don't I'm just watch out for wolves, I guess. There's the cartographer tower. Oh Watch where you're going. sound is kind of messed up. Not the stream, it's the game. Ooh. Make it, Simon, you got it. Oh, here's more arrow, arrow people. That way, huh? I follow the what is that oh that's more that's the badlands right we're kind of next to the badlands okay oh that's interesting oh Simon where are we going what oh we're not in the forest anymore so I guess it's not spooky anymore Ugh, Simon, sorry. Do a barrel roll. Get up the bit. Okay. Not up this hill, I guess, then. Huh? Uh huh? Ooh, is that an observatory up there? We have to climb our way up this, don't we? Okay, well, let's start over here. Yeah, that is the, indeed the right place to start. <laughs> so 
Somebody put these boards here. Hmm. Chalk butterfly. All right. Oh, it isn't the Badlands. It's just a gigantic spine thing. Ooh. Is this like a jumping puzzle over here? Oh boy, it is. What is this music? Okay, we have heard this music. Uh, there's a camp over here. Hmm. Oh, there's more rings, okay. I'm a silly sable. Camp music, I guess. Yeah, because we heard that at the uh, Bexy camp. Hi, Bexy. Hi, Bex. There's a tower over there. You think? Yeah, there's a chum on it. I can bar barely make it out. Climb. I like that music, but I also like the accordion guy from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Cass was Cass was the best. Um, excuse? How? I would like to know how I get up here, please. I'm one step away. And how does this rock formation even start to happen? Okay, we'll climb that one then. Fine. Hi, cartographer. You're interesting, but this is a little bit more interesting. You haven't been over here to collect coins? And a chum? Sixty. That's twenty for us, right? Yeah. We now have 20 chum. Oh, it's like a whole camp over there. Were you hiding that? Was that your secret stash? Sorry, I took it. Not really. I need it. Specifically to buy your map. Do 
do I have? I have barely have enough to get this map. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, what is... Okay, that talk buttons are strange. Glider! Alright, I'll ask him, what can we find in this region? I ask what I can find in the region. They seem thrilled to be discussing this with me. The petrified forest is wonderful if you venture inside. You might see some of the giant geosetic stones, and those... And what... Knows what fun creatures, and knows what fun creatures you might find lurking nearby. That's a strange sentence. That doesn't. Then, Marrowbone Station, Marrowbone Station is tucked safely beneath the bones of an ancient giant. They said that last bit with some added flair. I appreciate their theatricality. Oh, and if you've never seen that watch, well, let me just say, there are a few engineering feats quite as resonant. And finally, finally, Pyrausta, the great worm. Most people tell you it's just some ancient monument, sort of tribute to something. But I think it may have been alive once. Glider. Uh, thanks. That worm thing? Uh, thanks. I think. Can I get on top of this? Oh. No, I meant to climb it. Can we not climb it? I don't think there's anything on top of it. I just wanted to see if I could. I don't, you can't climb up there. Is there anything up there? I don't see anything. Okay, so we have at least three places to go here. And to figure out, um, what the forest is about, what that place is about, what the worm is about, and go take a look at that little city over there. I'm curious to see if we can find anything in this forest. I don't see anything. Not right off the bat. Anybody see any structures or ships? See a bunch of... Ooh, what is that? Oh, there's a... Right. But what is that? Oh, it's an arrow dude. Pointing this direction and that direction. Somewhere. We get that chum. Uh, where is Simon? Over there. Can I f fly that from here? think yeah we got this hey chum Ooh, there are glowing plants down there hi friend Go see what the glowing plants were. Um, 
and then what the arrow dudes are doing. There's, yeah, that that one. Yeah, okay. Let's just see what these glowy plant is. Oh, uh... What? <gasps> they turn into butterflies? Nimur butterflies. Um... Are we supposed to be careful with them? Does something in this area eat them? Chase them? I don't know. We won't break all of them. We'll just, uh, get a few. I know you're over there somewhere, Simon. I don't know if you can get to me, but... Try. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Guess we walk in that direction, huh? have things on top of you. Okay, where was I? Um. <sighs> things are making sounds. I don't like it. to go this way. Um. How far this way? Oh, you know, just running through a creepy, foggy forest all by ourselves. Don't lose your bike. I I won't. I know where Simon is. I have a fancy little thing that you're telling me about right now. It's right here. There's no way it was this far away. The moon. Are you going down or coming up? Down. The moon running through this forest is kind of creepy. When is your bike determined to be lost? I don't. Well, I mean, you can't really ever lose it. Because you have an icon telling you exactly where it is. more curious about the arrow dude right now. I didn't see anything that it was pointing at, so... And I just have to go away, I guess. Kind of look for things. It's very strange. Oh, hi, chum. You're just here in the middle of a creepy forest. You should go home. Here, I'll take you there.
The moon. The moon. Where are you? Keep calling out to my bike, but it is gone. Well, anyway, are you having issues? Where was that, um... Where was that statue? Ah, it's up there. Make it up, make it up, make it up. Okay, you have a friend that's over there. Where are you pointing? I don't... I don't see. Wait, which direction is it? Kind of northeast-ish? Okay. Through the trees to the northeast. Around this one. Oh, there you are. And what are you looking at? Northwest. Alright, we'll, we'll go. There's your friend. You're. Oh, I thought you were missing your bow. What are you looking at? This direction? I'm on my bike game. Relax. I have not lost it. Uh, okay, that direction. Huh. Well, there's something here. What are these? Melancholy mushroom. Um, you don't mind if I take a look inside here, do you? Lavender flash dye. The dye bottle for colors of the lavender flash bike. Okay. Okay, well, we, uh, we followed the people, which was very strange. And I wonder if it goes farther? No. That's right. Alright, let's make our way. Ooh, where are we? Okay, we made it to the balloon. We could go there. Whatever that is. Uh, there's that spine thing. We're a couple chum in the area. We'll see what that is. Hmm. Oh, there's another ship. It would seem. Uh, let's go. Ooh. Well, let's go see what the blood red stuff is, I guess, off to the left. That caught my eye, and now it's interesting, and we're going there. Get me out of the forest, please. No more cre Ooh. Kinda looks like, uh, coral? guess could kind of make sense. A lot of deserts started as underground stuff. Well, we found a puzzle. Uh, why? 
Okay, well, we need to open that door, which means we need to get, need to get up to the top of that thing, which means we climb some stuff. Uh, that one's for over there. You're closed. What do you think? We can climb to the top of this, do you think? Climb, climb, climb. cell up on top of that? No, it's just the button. Button, the button. Who's got the button? Climb this? Maybe? Do we have the stamina to climb up this? We're about to find out. Don't think we do. Oh, we can run. We can run and walk. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Secret ledge. Secret tunnel. Easiest puzzle ever. Just climb the biggest thing in the area and drop down on top of it. Oh, there's a little beetle over there. little beetles. Huh. Where are they going? Nowhere. They're stupid. Alright, turn on. Go, 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 go. I don't know if it's timed or not. Let's go. Oh, that, that looks... Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we get to take a break. Over here, is there anything over there? No. There's a door over here. trippy being in places that are sideways. But, here we go. Hey, no! You were supposed to fall all the way down, you silly thing. Thank you. That wasn't timed. Hello? Do you... Would you mind? There's more lore in here? Hmm. Let's go see what happened to this ship. Mani. Atomic Priesthood Torso. Okay. And, uh, nothing. Nothing? Well, that's unfortunate. That's right. You gotta think for it. This place is interesting. Um, there are beetles around here. I don't know if we need more beetles, but... Uh, 
or here are these different kind of beetle? Oh yeah, so they like bury themselves. It's interesting. I wonder if they like fruits like the last one. Should have like a slingshot or something to blink, pink those out. Come here, butterfly. Okay, I want a little spider crab thing. Where are they? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Huh? Are you not interested in why do you keep looking at me? Do your thing. Why are you looking at me? You don't need to look at me. Oh, it's gone now. Cool. You you ate it all. Fine. Hmm. It's trippy a little bit. What is... there's not one on here. Is there just this one? Come here. Do I have to hide it behind something? Still, will you come out? Why are you looking at me? You're like a weird spider thing. Uh, can I... What if I put this on? Ah, uh, oh, okay. Well, I don't think we're, uh... You can't have this then. You're not gonna let me catch you, you can't have food. Come on, Simon. Let's get out of here figure out how to catch these things. You know, probably when we go to that city over there, they'll probably be like, hey, go get me one of these sand crab things. Come on, Simon. Goofy spike. Come here. Where did it... Over here. Let's go get the chum that's obviously going to be here. It's up in that edge. It has to be. Oh, just more coins, I guess. Up here? No? Okay. 
I guess it's uh you then. Well, that was fun. We saw this area. So we know where those things are. To uh, figure out a good way to catch them. Because the same way with that worked with the other beetles did not work with these. These ones are too weary. Maybe we need a, a special outfit. We see anything interesting over there? Uh, we saw that bit. How come I can only? There are two settings, there are three settings. There's way out, and then way close. Hurts my brain trying to go through the map like this. Okay. Uh. I have a feeling this area here is going to be something after going to this city. Similar to what we just did, so let's hang a right and just go off to, into the city. Jeez, sorry, Simon. Oh, yeah. We can go fly through these things, too, and go collect that. Collect the artifact that's been sitting there for hundreds of years. Nobody's ever thought of flying through all the rings. Silly. I think somebody on their gliding would be like, oh, hey, look, giant rings. Oh, those are fun to fly through. Oh, let's see if we can get all four of them. No, they just left it. All right, one, two. There's three and four. Three. There's four. There's four. One. That's a weird rock formation that's sticking out of sand like that. Two. Why do they light up when I go through them? Is it Simoon? Does Simoon have special powers, special words? It speaks the language of the ring. And four. More than four? Did we go the wrong way? Is there a direction that we have to go through these things? Let's find out. One. A two. -hoo -hoo. A three. There we go. A little bit speedier going downhill. Four. There it goes. Mm hmm. You think there's a chum on top of this one too? Find out.
Thanks. I'll just take this. Okay, bye. Strange. Still don't know what the noise is. Worm looking thing. Ah. I bet there's a chum at the top of that thing. Or at the very end of that thing. Aerobone Station. Well, let's, uh. No, Simon! You goofy glider. Stay there. Go see what this machinist's name is. Hello! Machinists do not startle easily, but this one jumps at my greeting. I give a frantic wave. Glider! Yes! Good to see you. Meet you? We've never met. I don't think so. Yes. Good to meet you. I'm Callan. Callan rocks back and forth, ball to heel. There's a speedy twitchiness to them, and their words emerge like a too swift rush of wind, picking up little stones and twigs as it washes over the dunes. How's your, um, life going? <laughs> uh, things are strange. Strange! Good! It is very apparent that Callan, Callan barely registered my response. I'd like you to do something, if you're free, or, well, if you're not, whatever, I, I'd like you to do something for me. It, it'll be a little bit fun, I promise, and it'll earn you a machinist badge. Quick into the point, I see. Quick into the point, see, I know you gliders like that. Speed, and things like that. Anyhow, uh, what do you want me to do? Well... I want you to receive a machinist badge, and for that, I'd like you to, well, report on something of me. Think of it like a mission. Isn't that fun? Sort of? I take a breath to speak, but Callan has no time for it. You'll need to use your head for this one. I want you to go to the watch and take a reading of the sun. You'll find the equipment a bit, well, you know, outdated. Underdesigned, cumbersome, archaic perhaps? Whatever the word, it all it all still works, and that's what's important. Take the reading, and if you do it right, the face door in the central chamber should open. Once you've seen what's inside, come back here and tell me about it. Good. I open my mouth for whatever is the shortest period one can open one's mouth and get no room to speak. Perfect, yes, thank you. And thank me too, because you'll have more than earned a badge. Go on, see you soon. Can't wait to hear about it. Callan waves me off. I say goodbye to Callan. Well, Callan, um... You know what? It's getting dark. I think... Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't climb to the top of that tower to go see, see if there's a chum up there. Well, remind me to do that. Hi. Greetings, Glider. Care to pursue my wares? Uh, sure. You have a nomadic bike engine. 
bike wing wash top wash trousers all right let's see what does the bike say a modern limina bike component often seen driven by nomads in the wash the fins help create a balanced driving experience Nomadic bike front, a sleek, minimal look that has a well-balanced weight to it. A commonly used part used by many people across Midden's dunes. Midden. Midden. Is that the name of it? Must be. Floating, uh, nomadic bike wing. Give me a second here. Ah. Uh, no, I don't have the cuts for that. I didn't want to buy it anyway. Floating weights inside each module adjust their position automatically to correct poor driving movements, making for an easy drive. Okay. Well, good to know you have those. Hey, look, a chum. Uh, I have no way of getting to that chum. Or do I? No, probably not. Can we climb it? Possibly? Maybe? Oh, Sable, you can go upside down. You're amazing. Hi, friend. Come with me. What was that? Hello, what are you doing? Where are you going? Okay. Strange. I don't see NPCs walking or running very often. Was it a child? It's a child. Hello, child. Who are you? I'll never be as fast as Sophia. I'm too little. Sophia? Nothing in here. Hi, you're a guard. Do you know Elizabeth? Oh, it is Elizabeth. <clears throat> Well, look who's here, my favorite fellow glider. Funnily enough, I was just thinking about you. Uh, I was thinking about you, too. Where are you? Well, sounds like destiny, destiny to me. Or at least a bit of good fortune. Which, frankly, is good enough. Well, I'm putting my watch over here. One second. Elizabeth chuckles, hands on hips. I ask her why she was thinking of me. Because I was considering all the things I never got to see on my first gliding. I was in such a hurry to get to Esria and become a guard that my gliding was more of a piercing. A straight shot to the big city. Before I knew it, I was years along my path and I'd never seen Hakoa. Never swam in underground lakes. Never figured out what, what's inside a Nimor plant. Now, here I can help. Before she can trail off into any wistfulness, I tell her that I already know what's inside of a Nimor plant. She claps her hands together. You don't, do you? The thought that I can help Elizabeth using something I happen to have found along the course of my travels warms me. It is a small reminder of the gliding's purpose. I show her the butterflies I collected. Tough not to crack. Amazing! Elizabeth is wrapped in wonder. Butterflies, who knew? If you'd given me a thousand chances, I'd never have guessed I, I love butterflies. Don't you? They flit across the world along their own little paths, dancing alone on the wind. But they seem so pleased whenever they meet up. Like us, I think. A bit like us, I think. <laughs> she looks out at the horizon again. Thank you. You're a wonder, and please, take this. Another badge for the Nimor Picking. Butterfly Wrangling Young Glider who's been so helpful. Nimor Picking Butterfly Wrangling. Guard badge. I take the badge and put it away. I always thought guards were stern and stoic, but Elizabeth is bright, joyful. 
is powerful. Next on my list, I've got Hakoa. Decided it was worth making the trip. Wish me luck, and I wish our paths to cross again. I have a feeling they will. With a wave, I say goodbye to Elizabeth and go on my way. Quest complete. Ah, glad we stopped by and cracked open a couple of those things, huh? Hello. Scrapper Jeevan. Jivan? Scrapping ain't easy mask to wear. It's bloody dangerous and dead lonely. I guess that's why we do it, eh? Either way, every gladder should check out the old scrapyard up Burn Oak... Up Burn Oak Way. What? He'll sort you out with some badges or cuts if you deliver any scraps you come across on your journey. Uh... Oak Way, huh? Alright. Scrap, or... Cuts for scrap. Like that. Um... Well... Talk to you. You have a beetle mask. I'm sure you'll tell us how to do it. My clan has always been in the wash. We rarely venture beyond its borders. They say the chalk mounds were once bones of dead creatures killed by the fall of the whale and left to erode over time. Ooh. It's a bit creepy to think about, but the thing that really gives me the spooks is that petrified forest. You can hardly see your hands in front of your face in there. Well, yeah, I was, I know, I was there. Hello, uh, I like your, your tapping. How, how's it going? This is Ofu, the innkeeper of the camp. Innkeeper Ofu, what can I do for you? Glider, I've got a little job you can do for me. Your mask is weird. Do you know where Lior, Lore is? Oh, I, I can ask where Lore is. I've got a little job you can do for me. Uh, what's the job? I need some orange ring beetles, three of them. And I figured there's none better to ask than a glider. Uh, our love of task is greatly exaggerated. Really? When I was on my gliding, I was hungry for things to do. I loved meeting people and doing all the little favors and knowing how much I helped. Frankly, it's the only thing I liked about it. The rest of it's just sand in your bits. <laughs> gliding. Just sand in your bits. I ask where I might find the beetles. There's a nest northeast of here that should have a few, but if you've never collected orange ring beetles before, I'll say this. They're skittish. The second you approach, they'll burrow to get away. You'll want to lure them over to somewhere undiggable. Ah. I'll tell her I'll do my best. Got it. Okay. All right. Undiggable. That makes sense. Hi, Elizabeth. Are you going somewhere? I'll see you soon, she says. Okay. Well, to the observatory, I was correct. We need to go to the observatory first. Well, we needed to come here to get the thing to go to the observatory thing that they got over there. Uh, I made my way up there already. You know what? Is there a way and to climb the big spine thing? Just do that before we go on our way to the next area. And I think we can. Let's go over here. The fall of the whale. Well, that's a very big hill. I uh, don't know if we can actually climb that. We'll go over here first and see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be fine. Chalk mounds? What they said these are? Gonna go climb a spine. Gonna go climb a spine. Oh. There's a hole down there. <laughs> Is 
Is this bone? Is this supposed to be bone? I hear both bone footprint sounds and sand footprint. Oh, I guess it's normal, but okay. Strange. Hello, birds. Fly away. There's going to be. There is. There just. There just has to be. Here comes the point. <laughs> Why did that go to my, my brain? Uh, has to be a chum up here. Oh. Don't fall down. See? I knew there was a chum up here. Hi, chum. You know, we probably have to go climb that thing. What is that? You know what, there's probably one at the end of the tail thing as well. <laughs> Gotta be, right? We'll go back. style is nice, but I wish there was just a little bit more definition to these things. Just a little bit. Alright, Simon. Uh, we have to go back to that thing to go get that chum that's on the top of the thing that we know it's got to be there, right? And then make our way to the observatory. Really tall. Get on, Simon. There it is. Chalk mounds. Beings that died from the fall of the whale. Hmm. See this observatory thing, and then... There is another ship over here that we can go try and... I thought there'd be a butterfly over there, there's none. You can wait a little bit longer, we're going over here. Gotta go get our chum friend that's uh, over here. Simon? Just be a little bit more stable, please.
for that last bit. Here we go. Climb the rest of it. Is tall, we'll wait for the rest of our stamina. There we go. To the top. Yeah, see? I knew you'd be up here. You chum. Goofy. Alright. Uh, over to the observatory, which apparently nobody knows that it's an observatory. You even set to measure the sun, which is something you'd... Well, I don't know if you'd do that in a, at an observatory, but... But you could. You just put a filter on the lens so you don't burn your eyes out by looking at the sun. Here, what does this thing say? Petrified Forest, center of Brunswick, Marabone Station, Pyrousta's Ruin. Pyrousta? Hmm. Somebody just left this wagon here? I'm gonna be a scrapper. That's what I'm gonna be. <laughs> That's my gliding purpose. Scrapping all the wasted stuff around here. Just leaving stuff in places. Oh. The watch. Take a butterfly or two. Chalk butterfly. Another one. Well, there's a chum right there. Hey, chum. Uh. All right, give me a second. Chum's here. Gotta get it. Probably more around here, but we'll find them as we go. Probably one up here and up there and everywhere. So watch. Ouch. Um pause for just a second while we take a look at something. Sorry about that. Continuing on. Is this... Is it floating? It's floating. <laughs> statues. Broken statues. Butterfly. And, uh, that's one of those things, um, that you get in when you're training to be an astronaut, right? It's weird. What are these stones? Oh, this one's even more complicated. 
Large. Very large. Okay, so... Huh. Is it moving? No. The mask thing. Should it be as easy as the last mask one was? Centrifuge. Is that the word you're looking for? I mean, is it? Is it Sorn? Is that what they're called? I don't know if it is. You know the the devices that you get in when you're training to be an astronaut and like swings you around all over the place and spins you? Yeah, that's that's what this whole thing kind of looks like. Okay, don't climb it. Um It does something. I can't interact with it. So we're in the wrong spot right now. Go try this one. Um Sun Beetle something. There's something on top of that mask thing. Okay, we'll go we'll go look at that too. Something up here. Can I interact with this one? No. Oh, there's rings around there too. Okay. Yes, as the centrifuge. Okay, well. Now we know. Azure dye, the bottle dye for colors of the Azure bike. Alright. Click this butterfly. Go up here, and what does the mask say? Oh. Well, I open the ceiling. What do you say? A flash of light shines off something behind my eye and a piece of knowledge forms in my mind. The sunstone manifests when the machinery is in place. When the sun casts shadows, provide the stone the answer it seeks. When the sun casts shadows, provide the stone the answer it seeks. Um, that one's the bottom one. That one is the middle one, and that one is the top one. Sunstone. Okay, there are things below us we need to look at too. Uh, the sun casts shadows. Can we go, we could probably go interact with those things now. Um, but we'll see what this is. Okay. So the sunstone will appear here, and then we put it 
in this hole, depending on where the shadow ends on this thing. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. It's kind of like a planetarium, but it's... Yeah. It doesn't have a telescope, I guess, so... It's neat. Uh, that's the moon rising. Uh, let's see if the moon casts a good shadow on anything. And, oh, we need to go look at that. Is there a way up? There is. Oh, hi, chum. How you doing? You're so far away. How'd you get in here? Like an Egypt temple with the mirrors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Alright, does the moon cast a shadow right now? Um. I'm not sure what's casting that shadow. How do we get up there? Um, you no, know, is are these climbable? <gasps> they are okay. I don't know if this will help. if you put a planet in there a little round thing ground boy get in there ah 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 it's blue now okay this game likes blue things blue things mean solved here but what <laughs> I just had the thought of jumping on it while it was moving probably don't do that though one more there it goes and now it's blue yeah off to the next one the inner one yeah all right let's line these up before the moon goes all the way down one. Okay, then we make our way back. There's the sunstone. Okay, so... Now we wait... read this again. The sunstone manifests when the machinery is in place. Well, it's in place. 
When the sun casts shadows, provide the stone the answer it seeks. Okay. We just wait for the sun, which is... Not here yet. Do you think this is the position of the sun? Like the outer ring around it? Or is it just going like through the day? Oh, good. Well, I have. Can I? Who th was <laughs> when you throw it? It makes music. Hmm. Uh, we're just waiting for the sun now. Which I mean, it'll probably come up in the morning and. Go over there, right? Sable doesn't sleep. Can I? Okay, we can just leave it in there. I'll take it out for now, though. We don't need to leave it in there. One thing that I don't like about this is it is reliant on the time of day right because that sun wherever it is sun casts a shadow here it comes somewhere moon is up there and the sun is over there then you're just kind of waiting here waiting for the sun to come up which is I guess what this place is meant to do anyway wait for things to happen so that you can measure them at T and fast forward two hours There's a camp over there. There was a camp up here behind this thing, I think. Go use the bed. There's the sun. See it just peeking. In Which one is it going to hit first? awfully dark for it to be daytime. Here it comes. Yeah, it's gonna hit the sun first, isn't it? Alright, Shadow. Show me what you want. peak of it. Raiders of the Lost Ark music plays. Dude, the music in this game is actually really nice. I like it. The sound in the game is a little bit off. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You want this one. What I thought. Oh, this looks... Oh, what is this? Um, huh. In front of me, some kind of projection appears as if by magic, and in its floating geometry I see the lights that blaze in the night sky. I see where we came from. 
As I focus on each element of this complex visualization, I realize that there's something being imparted to me that I am reading and understanding things. Knowledge comes in new yet feels innate, as though I am being reminded rather than taught. I decide to put my focus toward the second planet. The second planet is Midden, our sandy little home of an unremarkable rock, made warm and vibrant by the power and energy of the Perpetual. Looking at it in this way, I see another side of the Perpetual. I cannot help but notice that we look ensnared and imprisoned by it, held in its grasp. Yeah, the big pyramid-looking thing? The cold wind passes, but warms as I remind myself, no. We are not being possessed. We are being protected. I offer myself that comfort. I decide to put my focus toward the sun. I can clearly see that the large glowing orb in the center is our sun, and so blindingly bright that I cannot look directly into it without feeling its heat radiate within my skull. Yet don't stare at the sun. Around it, celestial bodies move in a rhythmic dance. Makes sense. I decide to put my focus toward the small planet nearest the sun. Emis and her two moons flit about the sun like moths dancing over flame. The goat-headed god, patron of Ibexi. Her wisdom and resolve made for some of my va very favorite stories growing up. She always seemed more accessible than the other gods. My teachers would say that Emis is who we look to when Rohana is too preoccupied for us. I pictured her on cliff above the Ewer, ever patient, ever open. He also said that through certain masks, one could see her shadow on the sun. An unknown geometry, probably that pyramid-looking thing. I look upon a shape that I struggle to describe. It is pure and strange geometry, so bizarre and yet so orderly that it cannot be organic. I know immediately that this is the maw. This is imp this is the impossible thing that birthed the whale. Okay. I know from stories, from history, and from the knowledge that seeps into my brain here that this was made by living things, sentient ones, with plans and intention. But even though I know it, I cannot fathom it. Its scale is incomprehensible. The magnitude of it is such that, even in replica, I cannot look at it for long. Something in me loathes it. I don't know why. How about the glittering ring? I don't know how to pronounce that. Aeolian? Aeolian, a glittering ring of golden dust. Every little fleck looks as though it's floating on a breeze, gently through the sky. Are these what make up the stars? The ringed planet. Uh, do we see the ringed planet? Where is it? I don't see a ringed planet. Carab and its wings. When I picture it, the ringed planet is populated entirely by beetles, living in a decidedly advanced society. <laughs> it would be the perfect place for Saima, I think. But I don't love the thought of it myself. It looks larger than the other planets. That would be a lot of beetles. Uh, Simon's our friend from the first uh, section of the tutorial area. Oh, there's the ring planet. It's way over there. Okay. It's just going very slowly. Time to move on. I decide to put my focus toward... The twinned planets. There they are, floating on the right side. The twin fish, coral and cobalt. There seems to be small moons caught in their currents. The way they move is mesmeric. And it's hard to look away. They said that these two are the most mischievous of the gods, and I can recall the legends of them disguising themselves as children to lure kind nomads into the undercurrent of the dune. 
Among the Abexi, these stories of the twins are perfect for scaring the too bold and too young out of venturing too far from home. It's a wonder we ever get on with our gliding. Part of me wishes I had not recalled those fishes, though, and it'll be challenging not to look askance at the next errant child I meet. Huh. Okay. So we have... The geometry in the sky, in the system. That was made by other sentient beings. Who made the whale. And potentially the other ships that are on the... That crash landed on our planet. Midden? Second planet is Midden, yeah. Okay. I think I'm done here. I tear my eyes from the spectacle. I'm grateful to have seen it, but glad to move on. Yeah. Oh, what's in the box? Machinist trousers. Why are they in here? Practical trousers for working on bikes and other atomic gear. Pockets for tools everywhere. Good. Huh. Okay. Well. We did it. Is that a mask? Is that a mask that I can take? I need it to go scare that bird off the thing. Can I take it, please? Uh, we leave now. It's a weird looking thing. That is definitely not a penis. You wanna, you wanna be a bug? You wanna be a bug? Okay, um, we didn't go down to the middle of this thing. Let's see. It was down here. A butterfly is down here. Very large. We'll make our way out. So why is this thing here? Just for no reason? Just to make the same thing that's in there, out here? at all. I can't be the first glider that has gone through here, right? Or did all the other gliders just give up and not go push all the buttons and do all the things? And of course, obviously, we have to climb it, so... You can climb things and there's things to climb. You gotta climb them, right? Or do you like climbing? I put climbing in your climbing. 
See? There's a chum over there. We're supposed to climb this thing. I don't know if we can climb that one, though. Hi, friend. Come on. Uh, yeah. So... Don't think... No, that didn't happen. Oh, uh, you didn't see anything. That didn't happen. I was definitely watching where I was going. This is just, uh, we went back in time. That's, that's what we did. Doesn't look, this look familiar? It's a glitch in the matrix. We're living in a simulation. Do I dare try to climb it? Climb that big one? Do I even try? Jump over there. Can't climb that. My controller just died. Okay. Okay. Um, well, my controller died. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Fresh batteries. Let's go. Hey, Trump. Glad I looked around. Up we go. Why does this tree? Why do you have... What is... Why? <laughs> Don't think we're gonna make it very far. I mean, this thing is gonna be... and a half. Put that over there. 
don't think we can climb up that per se. Give it another shot. Over here. That tree is floating. Somebody didn't place that tree correctly. Well, that wall looks like it's untextured. We have made it to the watch. Get camera, please. Mm hmm. My stamina back. Okay. Go, Sable, go. Made it this far. Come on, Sable. You can make it. I should have stayed over there and climbed that way. We'll do that next. Just go over to that side. Yep. Start from here. Get our stamina from here. Make our way up this side. We could have made it all the way up there. Okay, there's got to be a chum around here. Is it ridiculous to go around this entire thing? Apparently, you can just walk through all this. Cool. Alright, is that it then? No chum? No chum all the way around here, huh? Gave it a fair shot. Walked all the way around the building. There was a chum on this side of the building, so... Counts, right? There's one down here somewhere. On that platform, possibly. Don't see one. 
Alright, let's go back. Oh, uh, are we in a good spot to go see the beetles? Possibly lure a beetle or two to its demise? I mean, capture, I mean, research. We would have to make our way back through the forest. need to climb everything sable we do but we don't <laughs> double checking there's not a chum on top of the pillars okay Where is... Where are we? There we is. Alright, we make our way up over here. Let's go get a beetle. Or two, or three. I don't know how many. How many? An ancient race. Wonder what the ring-shaped artifact is for. Yeah, we were looking at that. Oracle Rican Nazi's nibbles. That one. Search or the guard's mask gliding. I already did lore. Uh, I thought we wanted... Ah, there it is. Orange ringed delights. Go in the right direction. Yeah. We have to lure them to a spot that is not diggable. That's the key. That's what we were missing the first time around. Ooh, careful, Simon. That sound. Yeah, into the spooky forest. We don't need to be in the spooky forest, though. We can go around. Although there's probably chum in there somewhere. Which, uh, we do have 20 of them now, so we can go back to the chum lair and get more stamina. Possibly other rewards. There's some doors in the chum lair that we haven't been through yet. Don't lose your bike. Stop telling me. I have it. I'm writing it. Alright, what is... what? What are those things at the very top of this? What? Didn't see those before. Go... oh, there are just more of these things. Okay. Chalk butterfly. Okay, we need one of you. Oh. Um. How do we lure you some some place that is not diggable? 
Are those rocks not diggable? Is it not diggable on the rock? That's not what I meant to do. Here, uh, be on this rock thing. Put down. This is a very trippy rock thing. You don't see me. Come on. Right here. Is it... Are they not moving because it's daytime or something? Or nighttime? Moon going down? It is going down. Are you on something diggable? Well... <laughs> it just flopped over. <laughs> Did we get it? Three orange bring beetles. Okay. You're kind of sitting around their nest. Are you, are you? Oh my goodness. Look at you. Goofy. Okay, come here. Are there more of them over here? Uh, there's another nest over here. I wonder if there's undiggable things over here. They're all sitting on the sand. Nope. What about these over here? I need one more. These are goofy. Wow. Okay. It was really just in here, huh? Okay, well that was three of them. For some reason it moved... Uh, somehow. <laughs> okay. Uh, well that was three. Enough beetles. Back to Ofu. Uh, ancient Eye of the Sky. Kalanick Camp. Cool. I really want to push the middle stick to like run, or push push in the stick to run, but it just crouches. B is to run. Where is Time Moon? There you are. Hey, you come here. Hey, sorry, Time Moon. frame lag. Making our way back to the camp. Whatever that weird plateau thing is, and whatever that weird worm thing is, God, there's a lot to do.
Stay right there. All right. Here, tell you what I saw. Callan says hello. Uh, have you taken a reading yet, Glider? Yeah, I opened the door. And you saw what's inside, yes? Uh, there was a model. Yes, yes. Oh, that is so what I had hoped you'd say. What a solve. Well done, Glider. You must be tremendously proud of yourself using that little gliding mind of yours. Ask her past little to ask if I saw what I saw helps them. Immensely. More than you know. For reasons I... Well, suffice it to say, it helps me. With a few calculations and considerations of my own, but what are you asking about me? Did you learn anything? Hmm... Pondered the perpetual. I was a little frightened by the maw, or I pictured all the beetles on Karab. Uh, I was a little frightened by the maw. I tell them that I felt a strange revulsion to the maw and its magnitude. Something about it made me so uneasy that I had to look away. Fascinating. I can tell Kalan has a long moved on. I'm not sure why they ask me anything, really, but I'm glad to see them produ producing my prize. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride at your sparkling little brain, and perhaps I'll see you in a machinist's mask someday soon. Say goodbye to Callan. Call Callan. All right, Callan. Uh, did I? You didn't give me anything. Yeah, I gotta go with the normal one. But where's my colors? Ah, there we go. bunch of colors. There's a lavender one and that one and the colorful one. What does this blue one look like? Kind of like the blue. Black. Yeah, look black. Simon, looking good in your new digs. I like it. Go into that tent too. There's crazy people in there, I think. Hello! Uh, your mask does weird things, and I don't like it. What? 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 Okay. Greetings, Glider. What can I do for you? I hand the innkeeper my collected beetles, and she claps a little before taking them and setting them gently aside. Well done! Beetle badge. Hope this one was fun for you, and if it wasn't, well, you still earned a nice badge for your trouble. I thank the innkeeper for the badge and go on my way. Well. There's something over here? was a weird thing for the system to do. Huh. Okay, uh, we'll go over into this tent, which usually has the weird person in it. Let's see. Hi! The atmosphere in the Tent is intense. <laughs> it's intense. Uncomfortable. Uh, machinist mask, guard mask? I don't really want to do either of those right now. Mask caster. Goodbye. I don't know what happens because my. The gliding is, you know, go get a mask, right? 
I don't want to get a mask right away. I have so many other things to do. I don't know if I'll ever get a mask. Maybe I'll just forever be a glider. Oh, hi. Hello. Have I talked to you? Dr. Sura. I'm studying different flora and fauna across Midden at the moment. We can treat a lot of things using old tech, but we need more. We need to be more and more careful how we use that stuff. It's not accessible to everyone out in the dunes. It's hard to move, and if you lose power... We're starting to make progress with more local, non-technological remedies, but there's still a lot out there to, be to study. That's nice of you. Your head looks weird. I don't know what mask that is. Oh, it must be glass or something, because the, the one that we got from uh, Saren kind of looks similar. Um, well. Let's go see what this thing is over here. We have that thing to go climb, probably, and this thing to go climb, probably. Looks a lot more mechanical than... Uh, although, it doesn't... I don't know if it looks organic or not. It doesn't look organic. Unless it's like a spine, skull, uh, bones. Something. Very strange. It's large. It's probably got a climber on top of it and give us that climber badge. Something hanging off of it. The worm. Hey, can it... Sable, get off, please. Yeah, there's something up there. The worm. Well, get ready to get another climbing badge. chum on any of these? Should be looking for chum on the end of these things. No, just birds. Jump, please. Don't slide. Okay, fine. Climb.
Who has a jar of money up here? this it's gonna be a chum up here in there be like yep this is it this is your reward congratulations you did it there's not even a chum up here or a okay there's a chum Egg. Hi, friend. And a journal. Let's see what's in the journal. Oh, oh, weird. Oh, they move. I don't like. Don't like that. I pick up the worn and weathered pages left in the small encampment. Not something I expected to find up here, and far too tempting to ignore. The diary. Here I am. You told me to look to Paris. Parousta when I had lost it all, and here I am with nothing and no one, alone at the end of all my failures. I will sit and think for a while, perhaps something will come to me, otherwise I look to fall. Anna, I know you won't want to hear me, but I have to tell you. Parousta spoke to me. In a voice like rolling thunder and late evening shivers, she shook my bones and told me there was more to this than I know. Then I must look inside the statue. I have no way inside, but I will find one, where I am bidden to go by Pyrausta's whim. There I will walk in her great shadow. Bet us down the liquid. This looks like a sandworm. Like, probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't go down the maw of this gigantic worm. But, um... Can we, can we, can we cheese it? I want to cheese it. Weird looking. Don't. A lot of weird noises happening. In the statue. is no. This part of it is not climbable. I'm trying to look through the wall. I'm not trying to look at you able go away. Oh, that's climbable though. You can stand right here. Uh, give my camera back, please. Okay, fine. Didn't stand there for long, it seems. Weird. Can I climb this? statue. Didn't see a statue. There's a chum up there. Can 
Come on. I'm it. I'm it. There you go. Come on, chum. I don't know what you're doing up here. You're not supposed to be up here. Oh, well, thank you for showing me the thing that's over there. Good to see. Thank you. The statue. Did I not see that over there when I was looking at the... Th Am I just that blind? Oh no, that's the city over there. Okay. Over there. But that The city was in that thing. But I mean, it's the same thing, it's just a different... Size. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah. We'll go over to... That thing. We'll see what's over there next time. Figure out what this puzzle is. Pox, yo, how's it going? Been a while since I've seen you on stream. How you been? Oh, you're right here. Just got back from MFF. Yeah, how'd that go? A lot of fun. Awesome. Do anything interesting or uh, just hanging out? Haven't seen anyone in like two plus years. Yeah, that happens. When work, when you're a workaholic like you are, uh, I assume that happens a lot. <laughs> Atomic Disposal. Brunswick? Uh... In entry of Brunswick. We'll see what this... Alright, alright, alright. Hold on. I gotta get... I gotta get a... Screenshot of the outside of this. Hold on. There we go. That might give us something to work with. I might get one in the daylight when we come out of here. Okay, is there a chum in one of these pipes? I'm surprised that stuff is still moving in here. Center of Brunswick, alright. Work out my boy at the raves, attended all the room parties, panels, etc. Hey, that sounds like fun. Now I'll come back. <laughs> right as I jump at it. You, uh, you've been practicing your boy? Been a while since I've done poi. There, see, there is a, there is. I knew it. I knew there was gonna be a chum in here. Hi, friend. Well, if you've been practicing, you need to get another video out. You know, show us how good you've been doing. Open sesame, I say. All right, uh, here's number three, I suppose, is what it's going to be. Even though we've done, f this is technically the fourth one. We'll see, we'll find out. Um, 
what's first here? We need to move that into an advantageous position. As well as this. And that one even. Uh, which is probably going to be in that position. That one can stay there, I think. We'll see. This one needs to be... At kind of a that angle. That feels right. And this one goes over here, up to there. Nope, it doesn't go all the way. Okay. So we need to make our way to something. There, I guess. Okay, we were thinking about it the opposite direction of the way we need to go. Well, for right now, it seems. My... Doing it right? Need to get up there, go down, get up there. Okay, you can stay there. I just want this one angled in that kind of a direction. Get up there, right? Oh, wrong one. This one. I'm kicking. Uh, Why are there stairs there? Just give me the stair. All right, see if we can climb this. Yep. Oh, hey, scrap. Like that. There's probably another chum around here somewhere. Silly little things get everywhere. Poor scrap. Okay, so you go somewhere. You know what? I could probably just keep it spinning, huh? Does it spin in the right direction though? Better flow overall, but I need to clean up the behind the back stuff. Well, something. It's definitely a skill. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it at that. And then keep that one rotating. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Give me this. And then this. Easy peasy. Center of Brunswick. Done. Hi, Saren. Uh, before I talk to you, I'm going to grab this piece of scrap metal and uh, see if there's anything else in here that I can grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See? All this scrap over here. You, you don't, you're just a robot. You're not using any of this, right? You're just an AI? Well... Hey Siri, go away. Yeah, I didn't need you to pop up and tell me anything. I want you to stay over there. Okay. Hi, Saren. Is not Siri. Really? Hey Siri, go away. 
Oh dear. I say hello. You have unread messages, Sable. Uh, unread messages. Here are your unread messages. Recording four. Saren appears before my eyes. For a moment, I think I see some text I do recognize, but it's gone just as quickly. Ellis, catastrophic, catastrophic failure in reactors one through five. Auxiliary power is still on, but navigation systems are failing. Captain, we're going down. I need to do something now. We need to do something now. Singh says, divert auxiliary power to the landers and let other ships do the same. T tell the other ships to do the same. I don't think we're getting our reactors back anytime soon, but don't stop trying. Give it whatever you've got. Sir, reactor systems have been unresponsive since we entered the atmosphere. Whatever it is, it's creating quite a lot of interference. Correct. The energy signature has changed, Captain. It has gone quiet. It appears as though it may be responding to our presence. Not now, Saren. Plot me a course to land somewhere safely. That's priority one. We can figure out the rest when we're landed. Navigation functioning offline, Captain. Would you like me to... No, I'll do it myself. The recording ends there, and I feel a bit a little twist in my stomach for the people I've never met, and whom I know are long gone. How strange to worry for the lives of the dead. No one read messages. Say farewell. Well, that gave us the more lore that I wanted today. Hmm. Let's go grab that jar of money over there. How do we grab that jar of money? Uh, we have to get back up here and then over there and then have that running somehow. You, come with me. Oh, you could probably live something like that. I think we can climb that. You stay there. <laughs> what? Why? Oh, because it's floating. Oh, strange. Okay. <sighs> use it, use it, use it, get it. Yeah. Smart. Twenty cuts. Thank you. Goodbye. Ooh, is it daytime? It's daytime. Let's go get a good side view of this thing. Coming up or going down? Coming up. Maybe we can get a shot with it in the sun. Ah. Really? That's all right. Nope. We did it. 
We did the thing. We found it. We saw it. We came, we saw, we conquered. What's next? Oh, Simon. Do it. Do it. You got it. I believe in you, Simon. I know you're just, you're you're a glider bike, but we can do this. Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. Wow, there's a lot of skeletons here. A lot of, a lot of rib cages. Spines. Probably a few chum in this area. Huh? Somewhere. What is this? Big plant. A strange area. I knew there was going to be a chum up here. I knew it. I was like, see that big one on top of the hill? There's going to be a chum up there. Climb, 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 climb. Hi, friend. Probably. Where are we right now? Okay. Cool. Worm. Carbon station. We don't need to go back there. Figure out what that place is right here. At some point. Um, yeah, where to go now? Should we go back to the whale and see if we got anything new over there? Yeah, let's do it. You're very loud, whale. You know what? No, I'm not, I'm not walking all that way. Come on, Simon. Mac, I need you. Thank you. Oh, what? Fine. I'm the ladder like a peasant. Aha! Now we have four. See if uh see if that gained access to the other glider over there. 
Hello. No unread messages. Archived messages. Okay, we do have four of them now. Uh, right. Be four. Not that glider. Okay. So now that we're here, let's go. I don't really need to go back to the bridge. I don't just want to fast travel everywhere, but let's go here and make our way up to that thing. I don't think we checked out that bit. That bit of ship. I don't think we did. So, yep. Um. Strange. Which way? Straight ahead, slightly, well, nope, off to the left. This way. Hey, now that we have more stamina, we could probably climb to the top of these things. A lot easier, anyway. Okay, it was up here and off to the right if I'm... Yeah. There it is. Cat Cowleys? Rowleys. Rowleys? Does this one also say atomic disposal? It does. Ha 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 ha, you gotta look at all the pipey things. I saw you. Come on. There we go. About these pipey things. Anybody home? No. They wouldn't hide them in two pipey things next to each other, would they? Huh, I see you. Alright. Crowley's way. No crouch, please. There's a strange way to get into a ship through the engine. Stop over here and go get the chum. And some of these. Okay, I'll take those. Hi, friend. Come with me. This. Grab 
little. Um. Got this scrap metal. Walk up here. Like a trash shooter. Oh no, it launches. The launcher. Uh, launches us over to that one, and then over to that one, and then that one launches up there. Got it. Okay. But we need to get that thing. Whoa. Success. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's another thing somewhere. There has to, there's one. What are you for? Okay, well, we're gonna use you to... Oh, we have to go back and forth to launch in all these individually, don't we? Okay, well, go down, please. Thank you. Launch me. Yeah, so now we gotta go grab this other one to launch it over there. But we can't. I can put this here though. I'll launch myself. Yeah. Take the scrap. Uh. Okay. Oh, there's. There's no one right there. Scrap. Didn't mean to throw. I was pointing to this thing. Why is the arrow pointing to those? Okay. So we'll take... You? No. Can I get up there without... take this one and then I come down and I take that one and put it in that and don't leave without me uh. what's wrong Sable you can't hold on to a thing while we're flying through the air That isn't exactly what I wanted. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I can just climb up that. I'm silly. Can I keep holding forward? Can. Okay. So we'll let it launch us and then push forward. To not go nearly as far. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have this one hooked up. But, uh, no, don't throw it. Just put it down gently, nicely, softly. Thank you. So we can climb back up there, so we'll just plug this one in. Over here. Very heavy. Screw climbing a ladder. I want to fly. Huh? Go down, please. Thank you. Launch. Yeah. Almost missed. And open sesame. Crowley's way. And there is Saren. Bunch of scrap. Hello. You have unread messages, Sable. Unread messages. Here are your unread messages. Morning five. I find myself tapping my foot in anticipation. In find myself tapping my foot in anticipation as I start up the workstation. At long range communication are still being disrupted by the perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference. Permission? Granted, Saren. I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can't squeeze something out without it being bounced back. Okay. Yes, Captain. Well, we might as well get the terraformers up and running then, right? Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers... He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running your mouth, we'd still be in orbit, negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. You can't even breathe the air out there, and... All the more reasons to start terraforming now. What's your point, Captain? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. Their rad shielding is beyond repair right now. If we run these things, they'll pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years. It's not an option for us, Deacon. And maybe we don't do it for us. Recording goes silent. Huh. Okay. Well. Interesting. That's five. And we need six. Any chum hiding anywhere? No? Okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. Of course we can't climb that. Well, we did that one, uh, and Kimball's Cube. Wasn't anything to do in Kimball's Cube, though. Alfron connection. I guess we're going into the next area. Away. Oh. Ooh. One second. Okay, it's uh, that way, right? No, I was wrong.
We'll go this way. Should we? We can just go through the landscape just to get a better feel for it. Prettier anyway, right? We can go up and over this next little area. Dang it. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> okay. Are these more geysers? Let's go see what these are. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get a view on anything. That doesn't look natural. We'll go over there. The heck are you? You're supposed to be falling lava? Is that what that's supposed to be? It's spinning, not falling. What? Hmm. Well, let's see if we can find the cartographer around here. Climb it, climb it, climb it. Simon, you got it. I believe in you. Oh, that is floating. Those are definitely floating. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I get to somewhere that you weren't supposed to get. You know? Like, hey, you're not supposed to be over here. Why are you here? Can pushes. Also kind of feels like No Man's Sky a little bit. Like you're running through the terrain on an unknown planet, looking at strange creatures and things that no one's ever seen before. And that way it's kind of nice. But, oh, and Sky was such a disappointment. I couldn't return it, so I might play it again, but they have been doing updates, but we'll see. Can we climb it, Simon? Are you feeling up to the task? 
That's a no. Oh! Uh, what is that? I don't see the cartographer balloon anywhere. Because it's up there? Might be. That's floating too. It's very large. Like really large. And there's like statues on it? What is this place? Am I? So, oh, Simon, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. We're making our way down. Flying fast. Kaiser's past. Hey Siri, go away. I don't even know why I have you enabled anymore. <laughs> hey Siri. Go away. So silly. Listens for absolutely anything that sounds like S I R I. What the hell? Uh... Uh... They are moving. Hi. You have a strange mask. A Cohen merchant came in. Uh, tell me about this camp. You can't. What are you? They don't seem interested in answering my question. The silence is intense and uncomfortable. I came here years ago. <clears throat> okay. I came here years ago. The plateau. It calls to be studied. Her voice is slow but deliberate and thoughtful. That's what I thought it was. See, I did that right first time. Haha. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, tell me, show me what you got. A Cohen trousers, rubberized to insulate the wear from static charges and lightning strikes. These clothes are perfect for exploring the rough Hakoan landscape. Why do I feel like I need to buy them? Lightning crystal. Lightning infused crystals that grow out of the sides of floating rocks in the crystal plateau. Extremely risky to harvest. The power inside each crystal is extremely powerful and volatile. Cracking one can be dangerous. And the Cohen top. Made from a rubbery material, this is essential gear for Cohen crystal farmers with plenty of storage for harvested crystals. And black dye. Uh, I need to save my money for the cartographer, but I'll be back. Who are you? You look strange. Ugh. Hi. I'm sorry I'm staring at your crotch. Okay. At first sight, the crystal farmers are so striking that I nearly gasp. Their height is immense, and they move with such calm that I cannot help but 
ascribe some higher knowledge to them, or see the wisdom of age in the curves of their backs. But then I remind myself, my reading is informed by the markers I see among my own people, the shorthands of the culture. These farmers are in no way beholden to my interpretation. I wonder what they make of me. Greetings, Crystal Farmer. Greetings, Glider. I am called Tota, and you are... I expect his voice to emerge as a rasp, but instead it spills like silk from behind his crystalline mask. There is a purity to the sound of him. Every word reaches me as cleanly as a whisper in the ear. I speak slightly louder than normal to ensure that I am heard up there. I tell him my name is Sable. How may I help you, Sable? Uh, what is this place? Toad raises one of his walking sticks and points it skyward to gesture to the crystal plateau, leaning at an angle that speaks to some impressive strength. We built it. It was made to draw lightning storms away from the rest of Akoa and concentrate them on that peak. As it happened, a side effect of that concentration was the formation of lightning crystals charged with electricity. Makes a circle in the air. Isn't it a wonder? We turned a bane into a boon, and a boon into a culture. All the chemicals and coincidences that conspired to create the crystal farmers. I nod in agreement, and suddenly this place I thought a factory feels more a place of worship. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, what are those big robots? Those are the reason my shoulders are complaining and my knees are grinding to dust. They used to harvest our lightning crystals, but now we must do it ourselves. And it is not easy work. Ask what happened. They stopped. All at once. One day, after a storm that seemed otherwise entirely normal. They all simply stopped. Some fell over. Others stayed up. But none of them ever moved again. In sympathy, I say that must have felt a terrible omen. He shakes his head, and it's the quickest I've seen him move. Oh, nothing like that, no. There is some explanation in the mechanics or the chemistry, even if we don't know it. And in that, at least, we take great comfort. I nod, and I think in some way I understand him better. Anything else I can do for you? Well, I've never met a crystal farmer before. Hmm. I tell Tota that he is the first crystal farmer I have ever met. Well, besides that one. And that I can hope. And add that I hope it isn't rude of me to mention he sh He shifts his weight and the crystals on his back move lazily with him. Oh, we must look very odd to you. Um, well, little. I admit they do look a little odd to me, but add that isn't a bad thing. I ask if I look odd to him. You don't, which is partic partially because I have met others like you, but also because we are the different one. I offer that we are both different, and somehow I swear he smiles. I'm not sure that's something we decide. I don't have anything else that you can help me with, but thank you for your information. Uh, do we make our way up there, or... I don't... I don't see another way. Um... As reluctant as I am to say it, I think I'm going to end the stream here so that we can start the next one on our way up Hakoa to see what happens, where we go, and what path leads us. I think there we will say goodbye. If you enjoy the stream, Please uh, hit a follow on that for me.
I greatly appreciate it. Find us on, or find me and my friends on YouTube in the links below. But then, I'll see you next time. That's a giant Nargacuga. I'll be the judge of that. Look at this thing. <sighs> it's massive. Right? Oh, fuck, dude. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even over here yet. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is fucking is. huge. I could ride that into battle like Odin. Holy fuck. <laughs> this thing's not a Narga. It's a Titan. <laughs>